that's going on YouTube. It's your boy Soul Gaming and Brady Gaming and Boys in the video. You know, when I logged off to Voice Over, my last video that I uploaded, and my first impression right here, I logged back on to Upload. So the Destiny was like, okay, I went ahead and downloaded it, you know, nothing too big. And then come to find out, come to the tower. And for everyone that completed their year one achievements, you are able to access your Sparrow, your Shader, and the emblem that you got for it. And they're all at the tower. And as you can see, I ran over to get the emblem out of the little kiosk, got a speaker, went to the right, went ahead and accessed the Shader. I had to go in and I had to delete one to make room for it. Now I'm just going to come over here to the side and toggle different armies on just to see what the shader looks like on my kind of craft. Now the only reason why this is a big deal is because after well now you really can after that 2.0 patch did come out, if you did not finish your year one achievements, you will no longer have access to this. You're no longer be able to obtain it like year one is over, year one achievements are no longer good. Now that we came over here and got the end of the shader, now let's go ahead and time to run to the right to go ahead and check out the new sparrow that we have off. Now shortly after we get this sparrow, I'm going to test it out, so don't have any worries about that. Super excited guys, about 10 hours until day 2 of the day to drop. Me and my fire team will be up at 4 a.m. We are central time. We're going to be on, grinding to level 40, getting these new subclasses out of the way, you know. We're just going to be on here grinding. Right there, I had to cut out the last thing. Did not know what the year one achievements was, but here we are. There we go. I'm going to grab it. We're going to go in. We're going to compare to the other spells that we have, specifically the one that you get from the one class. Statistically, um, it's not as good as the other one, but we're actually going to see this how it performs here. I sure am. Take control just to see how it performs. Look out on the outside, looks pretty dope, all blacked out, can't ask for more with that. Definitely did a good job on the design of the sparrow. Now let's see what this thing can do, we're going to hop on it right now. One thing I want to focus on, which we really want to do here, is to get on it. But I'm going to go ahead and test out the base of the cap here. Let me show you more on the glass, if you hold the trigger, it's going to make sure it goes, you hold it too long, you're Oh, this one did not have the option. You still have the option to toggle left to right and then bump it. As you can see right there, it's kind of coming in right here. But other than that, it's pretty smooth. Um, got a nice speed to it, no speed fall off at all. Now we're going to see how it performs when holding the right trigger for the day. As you can see, turning on the dime, definitely going to be a fun deal for the day. You're definitely going to be able to make good moves. Definitely gonna be able to do all that fun stuff. As you can see right here, I can just follow the little government section. But overall, the year one achievements. Definitely, definitely impressed about what's going to be able to offer. I wasn't thinking it was gonna be that big deal. Honestly, didn't think it was gonna be that great. But to be honest, it's not that bad. The shader is too much black for me personally. I am trying to grind out this Black Orbit Shader, and man, all time favorite Shader, still grinding for it. But overall, the year one achievement stuff, I am very, very impressed with it. Good job, Bungie, for that. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like, go ahead and drop a comment. If you want to go ahead and stay tuned for more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Definitely stay tuned. A lot of videos coming your way. But until then, Swole Gaming, out.